This video is brought to you by LearnCodeOnline.in. Visit our website or download our apps. Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video and in this video we are talking about Flutter. So in case you are not aware, Flutter is a tech designed by Google and is recently being launched. The Flutter is an amazing tech and as mentioned on their website, Flutter is a mobile SDK meant for designing high performance and high fidelity mobile apps for iOS and Android using a single code base. I know this sounds a little bit jargon, so let me try to break down all of these things for everybody so that everybody can understand that. But before we even do that, let's roll up the intro. First and foremost, we need to talk about what Flutter actually is and what Flutter is not. A lot of blogs, I have even read a couple of them, are saying that Flutter is the Google's reply to Facebook React Native. In case you are not even aware about the React Native, just check out the link in the description. I have talked quite a lot about React Native. In fact, I do have a separate course on React Native. So just take a look on that. Now coming back onto the point, I would disagree on this point, not completely, but on a little bit, that Flutter is not at all a reply to Google's uh, for the Facebook's React Native. It's a little bit different than that. Now, first and foremost difference is that it doesn't use any of the tech stack which is most popular on the internet. React Native uses HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Not exactly HTML, it's a JSX, but moreover, it's moreover dependent on the JSX. While the Flutter is nowhere like that, Flutter says that we are focused on a single code base and this single code base is going to produce iOS and Android app. Now they are not saying that for this code base they are using the popular languages like JavaScript or Swift or maybe other languages like C++ or even Java. They are saying we are coming up with our own language known as Dart. Not their own language exactly, uh, but it's not so popular either as well. I tried to download some of the Flutter built uh, that they have given on the GitHub and try to run them as well, try to a uh, little bit tweaking about the codes as well. I found that Dart is not so hard, it's relatively easy, but still finding people who already know Dart is going to be a little bit challenging. The biggest selling point of this Flutter tech is two things. The first is their high performance app and the second one is hot reloading. Now, obviously we can point out here that Google is aware about the miracle that Facebook has created that their app can be reloaded. Now, just bringing up your, uh, your attention to the point that Dart and this whole Flutter thing as well as React Native things are business solutions. For example, if I took up the apps like uh, Netflix, Amazon Prime or maybe Amazon. Now, they are already a stable business and they need their iOS and Android app. Now Flutter and React Native gives kind of a business solution to these companies. These companies would like to hire a single team so that they can have a single code base and can manage their iOS and Android app. It reduces down the cost quite a lot as well as managing of the team and the code base is much more easier. So obviously now a lot of technologies are looking forward to somehow uh, recreate their apps for Android and iOS using these technologies and yes Hot reloading is an amazing thing, which is available in React Native as well as in Flutter. You just save the app and just like you do on the web, you just hit a refresh and your code gets refreshed. Now imagine on a side note, just imagine that Facebook SDK is would be so humongous if it would have been designed in just Android and you hit a recompile. So many things need to be recompiled and it would take probably days or not even hours or days uh, to just recompile those apps. So obviously hot reloading is a tech which is kind of a necessity when your application or your product goes like insane crazy like Facebook. So let's talk about this Dart. What is this Dart? Now Dart is a programming language that is being used by Flutter. It's relatively a kind of an unknown programming language for most of the people. In fact, for me, it was really new. I never heard about the Dart and I just came to know about it through the Google's conference which they kept for the Flutter and I tried to tweak into a little bit of the code downloaded off from the GitHub uh, given by the Google guys at Flutter and I checked it out and I found it relatively easy it's not at all a hard language so eventually people are going to learn it pretty comfortably I don't think there is a like steep learning curve for it it's rather easy 
but yes, I would be a little bit uh, onto a downside with the selection of the stack here because they could have done a little bit better job in selecting the stack. Of course, they are making a point that Dart is really fast. We are using a C++ based engine. So it's not OEM widget dependent, so it's relatively fast. But again, uh, the point is that not a lot of people are already in the market who knows the Dart. So that makes me that uh, this technology, I will wait for some time that whether this tech is growing or not, because the selection of the stack is a little bit picky here. Coming back onto the point that how easy is Dart? Yes, if you are familiar with JavaScript or Java or you have programmed in uh, probably in any other language, you will find really comfortable with the Dart. Dart also uses a lot of uh, CSS part as well. So you'll find uh, really comfortable if you are good in front end tech, especially in the CSS, you'll find really comfortable here. Of course, the base focus is the somehow using of HTML and CSS for making their UIs. Now, one thing that I like about uh, this Flutter is they are saying that uh, it already comes up with the built-in Cupertino as well as Material Design. So whether you are moving for completely iOS experience or Android experience, that is going to be relatively easy and you don't have to use third party anything uh, that we like to use in React Native. Also, I would like to mention that the Flutter team is a little bit behind the schedule of launching the Flutter because I think they could have launched it a little bit earlier or at least when uh, the React Native was taking their popularity. Already, React Native is so much popular that Flutter is going to have a really tough competition in making the market space or taking the market space as compared to React Native. Already so many libraries, so many apps are already using it and in fact, Facebook showed it really, really a bold move by converting their Instagram and all these apps already into React Native and showing that yes, this tech can handle all the traffics and all the performance issues already it is there. Now, all the things that is we are seeing about the Flutter is, you can read in the documentation as well that they are saying that Flutter is being used inside the firewall, which is really an issue because Google is a big company, of course, but it is nowhere near about the traffic that is getting by on a real world app. So I would really like to see some of the apps by Google, like maybe AdSense or AV or some kind of these apps being designed in Flutter and showing in the market that yes, we can actually do that and Flutter can handle all kind of such traffic. Of course, Flutter can do that, but I would really like to see an example set up by Google directly there. So yes, Flutter is a really interesting topic and, can, and I can talk quite a lot about it. Probably in the upcoming videos, I will do that. But let me know in the comment section that if you are interested in knowing more about the Flutter tag or maybe I should download some of the stack on my computer and can show you that how things can be edited and kind of initial look. Now, one more thing that I would like to mention here is, will I be using Flutter for production for my clients anywhere, even if client asked? My answer is no, not at all. I'm not gonna be using Flutter as of now because right now the Flutter is in alpha mode, so it's not even in beta. And even I, I, most of the time I try to avoid the betas in the production. So as of now, Flutter is good for playing around or to see how it is evolving. But for the production, I'm not gonna be using it as of now. But this doesn't mean I'm negative about the Flutter. I'm super positive. Whenever somebody says that we are having a single code base and you are having a hot reloading for your mobile apps, I'm totally optimistic and totally positive about that. So on a final note, Flutter, it's a good move by Google. Probably they are a little bit late on making this move, but yes, it's a good move. I would surely like to see how things are going to be evolving in the future. I'll, I'll be keeping a close eye on this and surely I'll talk about that in the future. So let me know in the comment section, what are your thoughts about the Flutter by Google, as well as what you think, how is it going to take on to the market compared to React Native. I know this video comes up with a lot of jargon words as well. And I'll leave the link in the description about the Flutter official documentation. So go ahead, check that out as well. So that's it. Let's just wrap this video. In case you have enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. In case you have enjoyed it more, do share it on Facebook and Twitter as well. Do hit the subscribe button in case you are new at this programming channel. In this tech world, we talk about programming on this channel as well as some of the other stuff as well. So that's it for this video and I'll surely catch you up in the next one.